Yo, 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 what is up, fam? It's your dude, fan of here, and Colinello just dropped. Colinello just dropped, so we gotta react to this new video by Colinello. This one's called Why Runescape's Best Player Vanished Forever. Uh, it's about Nova LFE. Guys, the rank one, uh, the current rank one also vanished. Uh, after he became rank, rank, the unstoppable rank one. But when this new skill comes out, I'm not sure if he's gonna return. But yeah, let's check out this video, guys. I, I used to remember Nova being on the high scores. A player named Nova Life went from last place on the RuneScape high scores to rank one in under two years. What? You start out last place, guys. Literally last place. But soon after, he disappeared forever. So, what happened? How did he defeat Zezima so quickly? That, that's what Zezima's character looks like, I, like, I believe. And why did he disappear? Nova Life's history is interesting for more than just beating Zezima. His account is likely the most well-documented one ever. Soon after- Ever? What? No. It's probably Odoblox is now, right guys? After he started his RuneScape account, he opened a website where he would regularly post progress updates. The no way, I never knew about him having a website, guys. What the heck? Those updates included monthly screenshots of his levels, full screenshots of his bank, and even a blog where he would frequently post what he was doing in-game. And later... Nice, even a blog, guys. Even a blog. ...his most personal and deepest thoughts. This is where we learned that Nova Life wasn't like most other players at the time. Most of you watching this video likely discovered RuneScape when you were younger. For me, it was sometime before middle school. Nova Life discovered it when he was much older. Although he never gave an exact age, he was already in college when a friend introduced him to... Dang, bro. <laughs> There are some prodigies that just pick up the game, like, only for a couple of years and become the best at it. It happens with a bunch of games, guys, a bunch of games. ...to the game. Now, like all new players, he had no clue what he was doing. The first few days, he stumbled around the world, really just taking it all in. But... Guys, when I died to a goblin back then, I actually cried. I cried because I lost all my stuff. When I died to a, a goblin, goblin, when I first started the game, bro. When I first started the game, I actually broke down like that, man. He was a fast learner. While most of us were stuck inside Draenor Manor, Nova Life was already racking up dozens of levels a day. He managed to achieve a total level of 1,278 in under two months. And he didn't even have membership. Not bad, not bad. Decent for back then. Not now. N now it's, a uh, you know... A little bit easier to get those levels. Chip for half that time. Just a little under four months after starting the game. Like, you could probably get 1,500 total or even like 1,700 total in two months right now. Now, guys, right? He was in the top 1,000 players on the high scores. You have to be wondering, how is this even possible? Bro, was shooting for the stars here, guys. It's, it's cool to, like, reload the page and see your rank go up like that. ...that much progress in such little time, especially back then, seemed impossible. Well, it was impossible if you had a life. Anyone <laughs> yes. who's ever gone to college will know that you pretty much have free reign over everything you do for the first time in your life. There's nobody telling you what to do, so you have to figure out how to do stuff on your own without dying for... Oh snap, bro, that was a disaster. ...for the first time in your life. For Nova Life, this was a big advantage. Whenever class finished for the day, he could just tuck himself away in his room and play RuneScape through the night. Dang, did bro not even do his homework or anything? Just five months after starting the game, he had a 1500 total level and a bank worth at least 10 million GP. A pretty crazy amount. Not bad, not bad. When you're, when you're skilling, it does cost a lot of money, so, you know, he's not a staker or anything, guys. ...mount for the time. This is when his blog post would take a turn. Instead of just documenting achievements, we got to know Nova Life on a much more personal level. After a bit of thinking, he came to the conclusion that letting RuneScape consume his life had made him very lonely. So, he planned to take a step back and play some Age of Empires with a friend. Oh snap, AoE guys, I've never tried this game. Never ever tried Age of Empires. He would continue playing RuneScape, but not as much as he used to. But it was already becoming an addiction he couldn't escape, no matter- 
Back when you just logged in with uh, your username, no email whatsoever. Or what he said. In January of 2005, Jagex released the Slayer skin. Look at all those bots right there. Literally botting gargoyles. Fell into the game. A few days after, on. I've never seen bots at gargoyles, guys. On January 30th, Nova Life made a blog post saying that training Slayer would be his new focus until he could get it to around level 85 to match his other. Bro, I wanted 85 Slayer so bad to get whips, bro. I was like, oh snap, I can make money doing Slayer. I didn't have to PK, but I never tried it. Never got 85 skills. He chose 85 specifically as it would unlock Abyssal Demons, which dropped the new best melee weapon in the game, the Abyssal Whip. But how long would this take him? Well, he hoped that he could have it done by the end of February, which was less than a month away. Even today, with all its improvements, Slayer is a very slow skill. For casual players. Thankfully, it's AFK, right, guys? The fact that it's AFK is just for the win. It takes months, sometimes years, <laughs> to reach level 85. He's been playing for around six months, and sure, he's gotten far, but that's such a naive goal. There's absolutely no way he gets anywhere even clo- Oh wait, he did it. It technically took him a few days longer than he expected, but he actually got to 85 Slayer in just 36 days. Guys, that was actually the training method back then. Dragon... Longsword, I guess. Maybe he would. But not nah, Dragon Scimitar is better than Longsword, guys. Would have gotten there even faster with today's sponsor, HelloFresh. They take the hassle out of mealtime by delivering. Oh snap! New HelloFresh reel. Pre-portioned and green. Oh, they give you sauces and everything. That looks premium. Ingredients with easy to follow recipes straight to your door. No more wasting time in the grocery store or overpaying for restaurant delivery. That's cold when it gets to you anyway. Triangle sandwich. <laughs> you could prepare delicious meals like this chicken ramen and a show you style. Yo, Ranger, how you doing? Style broth without ever leaving home. Not only was it way easier than I expected, it was delicious. Absolutely. Guys, I want to try it out, but I want to select the meals, bro. Absolutely one of my new favorites. One day we'll get there, right? One day we'll be able to afford it. Favorites. With over 40 recipes and 100 seasonal and convenience items to. Hey, the snacks look good choose from each week there's something for everyone whoa steak best of all the ingredients travel from the farm to your home in less than seven days so they really do put the fresh in hello fresh not bad not bad still not pre-cooked like fast food that's why I, I like fast food so much because it's just like it rides at your door cooked bro use my link or go to hello maybe one day hello fresh will deliver cooked meals somehow right guys you don't even have to cook it just eat it fresh.com and it'll be like the uh, cooked food almost um and use code pog colo joel 50 for 50 percent off plus free shipping once you click my description will even live update to count up the purchases nova life was among the last time i looked it didn't live update but that'd be cool. That'd be cool. The very first players to be able to. We'll check after the video if there's a description. Uh, live updates. Fight abyssal demons. As you it might be on the Hello Fresh website instead of the YouTube video. That's that's probably what what it is, right, guys? You can imagine whips were going for absolutely absurd. What? Thirty to seven, guys. They had never been that price ever. Third Unless we went old school RuneScape first released. Dude. Prices. Just a week after getting 85 Slayer, he had sold enough whips to earn a whopping 300 million gold. Man Guys, back when gold, <laughs> back when gold wasn't even a uh, like green when he had over 10 mil. Many of these whips he didn't sell for GP, instead opting for party hats. However, he had no interest in rare. Got rich real quick, guys, right? Their ...items, and sold them all off to fund his more expensive skills. A mistake he and many others watching this video would later regret. Facts, bro, facts. However, I know you won't regret dropping a like on this video. By the time Whip started to drop to more affordable prices, he was sitting on about 400 million gold. This whole experience had him feeling pretty good, and Nova Life... It's cool that we documented it. Back then, you, like, documented your... Progress on like Zybez threads. Was back to playing RuneScape non-stop. Over the next few months, he would make tons of progress on his account, grow his bank even more, and rented enough movies from Blockbuster that the employees started to recognize him. But if what the if your only social interaction for the week is renting, he wasn't selling gold or anything, right, guys? 
movies from a minimum wage employee who definitely doesn't want to be there, your social skills are gonna suck. By this point, he was ranked 27. Not bad, not bad. But almost nobody actually knew him. That's not uh, front page, right? Both in real life and in game. In game, it. Name, bro. If only you made YouTube videos, guys, right? Might not seem so bad. But being famous at the time was actually a big advantage. Popular players could buy and sell whatever items they wanted with ease. If Zezima posts that he needs 2,000 U logs, there'd be a lot. Back when you made posts on the forums to actually get stuff. Find around the block. That was so terrible. Block of players all trying to give him wood. To reach his goal. Wait, what? <laughs> Did I hear that right? Of being the best player in the game, Nova Life needed to learn to socialize. Perhaps RuneScape's most difficult unofficial skill. Facts, bro, facts. He would end the post discussing this need by berating himself for allowing himself to get distracted by other games and not fo Dude, I'm currently going through the same thing where I get distracted by other games. Focusing as hard on RuneScape as he should have. He wanted to be rank one. Actually, he didn't just want it. He needed it, no matter the cost. He would begin posting to the RuneScape forums, not to gain friends, but to gain the fame needed to get the materials he wanted. His private messages turned into- Oh, snap, bro into a near unreadable wall of he's like i'm rank 27 buying this but now he's probably ranked uh, ranked up higher he's rank he's going to up the ranks now guys text but he had to keep it open to everyone to keep business going at this point you could start you could just merge them bro and make bang start to tell that he'd be like buying buying party hat <laughs> his mindset with runescape was very unhealthy when describing this strategy to gain popularity oh yeah all the subtitles when you Click a, a p portion of the forum, hungry, trade potions, for all your metallic needs. <laughs> he said this, sounds like work, only without pay, lol, but there is a slight difference in that I'm working to achieve a goal that I want. Real jobs don't have that, and all the money in the world can't buy that. This was around the time Nova graduated from college. Well, let's go, he made it, he made it. Oh uh, yeah, I could do a reaction request. And his only plans... What kind of video? ...seemed to be, keep playing RuneScape. A few more months would pass, and by the one year anniversary of Nova creating his account, he was rank 10 on- Dude, nobody- Dudes didn't uh, no life it back then as much as they uh, do now, guys. ...on the high scores. At this point, he was sleeping less than six hours a night, mainly to level up the newly released farming skill, although he- yeah, you pretty much gotta lose sleep very consistently to become high ranked. He again said he would take the game more slowly, especially now that he was losing touch with the outside world. His blog post showed that's not what happened. Instead of taking time away from the game, he seemed to play the same amounts, if not more. On a positive note, Damn, bro. Note, he began posting guides for many of the skills he had mastered. At the time, this was a huge help to players who came across his site. Alright, yeah, uh, just let me know the video, it's on YouTube, right? As the wiki didn't exist yet, and despite- Yeah, bro, we had Zybez, and it was not the best. It was not the best. Being just- It was still good, we- you still use a combat calculator for it. One player, he was- I- I do. ...more knowledgeable than most fan sites. Unfortunately, as Nova continued to rack up 99s, his mental and physical health would continue to deteriorate. He noticed that he stopped taking breaks entirely, getting up from the computer just to eat or use the bathroom. Oh, that looks like a good meal right there. Room. He tried learning to play standing up too, as sitting for so long became uh, I don't think so. painful, but instead of easing into it, he did a six hour session standing before he was so strained he had to sit down. Although his- Wait, wait, why? Is this is before standing desks, guys. Real life- Not uh, that many, many actually use those. ...was suffering, he was considered a legend on RuneScape. At this point, he had become friends with players like Zezima and Chessy018, was- Oh snap, oh snap, fame, RuneScape famous guys, RuneScape famous. Rank 3 in the game, and had more fame than he could handle, but he still didn't have that rank 1 spot. Des no, he's gonna get it, he's, he might get it, I don't know. Despite his drive for rank they're like, they're fr it's a friendly rivalry. Rank 1, you could tell from his posts that RuneScape was starting to grow old. Although he had plenty of goals left, even beyond just reaching rank 1, he started to think that maybe there was more to life than just RuneScape. His family and friends were also starting to become concerned. Since graduating college- Bro. 
So many years I've played the game and not done much else. college, he had yet to find a job. He had moved home and was just playing RuneScape all day, every day in his bedroom. Despite this making that's me right there. Right? Miserable? He pushed on. He did some thinking and decided that involving himself more in the game's community would do some good for his mental health. He began helping other players learn skills in game and make more frequent appearances at his clan events. And even played his first game of Castle Wars. First ever game? What? But his it's a. How come only the first game of Castle Wars? His desire to be rank one would quickly take over again. Nah, bro, he's really, he really wants to be rank one, guys. But we gotta see the ending to this, because apparently he just disappeared off the map. But this time, he was in the final stretch. He had passed iconic players like You Love Me, Yogo Sun, and the Old I do remember uh, uh, Yogo Sun and the Old Knight. Knight and was Don't know who You Love Me is. Uh. Now sitting at rank two, although the comp- I think Yogo Sun actually made videos, guys. I'm not 100% sure petition was still fierce. You Love Me was racking up millions of cooking XP every day, and it seemed near impossible for Nova to keep up. If he couldn't outpace her, he'd not only lose the rank 2 spot, he'd be even further from his goal of rank 1. At this point, Nova was back when uh, he, he, the, they got max total level, but playing 12 not max XP, so that's what the 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 uh the race is for, guys. Hours a day. Hey, if you want to get rank one real quick, just do the Bible skills, you know what I mean? And still beat himself up that it wasn't enough to keep up. But to be fair, at that point, it was later discovered that You Love Me was a husband and wife team who would actually just take turns playing. So I'm kind of blown away that he- Sad, bro. Cheaters. He managed to stay ahead of them at all. Soon after this, his blog post took a very different tone. Out of nowhere, Nova Life went from utter despair about potentially losing his rank to passing Zezima and reaching rank one. Let's go, let's go. He did it, guys. I'll do the mo. <laughs> that's cool, that's cool. We actually got it, guys. Luckily for Nova, Zezima had temporarily decided to stop competing for ranks, making it very. He quit long ago, man easy for Nova to take his place. Overnight, he was being crowded and spammed with messages everywhere he went, although he didn't enjoy all the attention, as you could tell from his social- Dang, bro. So many counts, man. Realization ideology. Back then when you'd get like a bunch of fans go going where you are and just following you around. Doesn't really happen even to big streamers now in days, guys, but it occasionally it does. It Occasionally it does. They gotta turn World Hider on if you're a big streamer like that, man. Gee, he had finally accomplished his goal. You'd think at this point he could maybe be done. He could finally get started in the real world, but instead he kept playing. Perhaps reaching rank one wasn't as rewarding as he hoped because less than three weeks later, he was back at rank two. He spent- Uh-oh, uh-oh. Here's the decline, guys. No. More time doing- hey, at, least he, at least he got the- Rank one in the world, guys. It's not. It's not something to be. Uh, you know, it's not something that's a uh, to be. You know, it's a good accomplishment, man. To be the best in the world, and to RuneScape. Thanks for fun, and his future goals list had no mention of regaining his rank, but. He just felt lost. He didn't know what to do next. He knew that he probably should have quit long ago, or at least after he reached rank one, but at this point, he was in too deep. He set his sights on getting his cooking XP to the maximum of 200 million XP, but even that didn't fill the void. Does that cost so much e GP even nowadays? So he went- Unless you're doing it like while making profit, which is possible for 200 million fletching but that unsurprisingly didn't help either nothing he tried was making him happy so just four months after originally reaching rank one he announced that he was quitting for good a few days later he stopped his membership from renewing again saying that's one way to quit you know it prevents you from playing the game basically not many free-to-play players out there, right guys? And, and began his last month in RuneScape. Before his membership ran out, he bought his first party hat, not including the ones he traded whips for, achieved his goal of two Ooh, snap, let's go. 200 million fletching, and he even gained enough XP to be rank one just one last time. Unlike- Let's go, let's go. Previous promises to cut back on his times. Hey, but now RuneScape, you can make money off being a freaking RuneScaper, so. 
It's a lot different uh, climate now, guys, right? Benton game, this time seemed for real. He would only return to the game for some of its holiday events over the next few years. Throughout his later blog posts, he would express that he had the desire to return to RuneScape multiple times, but he knew that he couldn't or shouldn't. By 2009, he had lost all interest in Legit, it's a, a, an addictive game, guys. In the game, he had missed every holiday. Wonder if his blog is still there, and he's if he updates it still. Event that year, and closed his website soon after. Oh man. Although he's returned to the game briefly a few times, he's never stuck around. RuneScape is so different nowadays. Is a great and much needed escape from reality, but it can easily become your only reality if you're not careful. This facts, bro. Facts. This video was. It's like Hello Fresh. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's probably a bit of a downer. So check out the video on the right where I broke into areas that no other player in RuneScape has. Oh, well, that was a video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Check out Colinello in the description. Peace out, everyone. I do live stream my reactions on Twitch. Link below. I used to live stream them on YouTube, but currently I'm banned on my main channel, so I'm not going to risk it. Later, guys. Thank you for watching. Peace out.